What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. This video is going to entail how to season your Blackstone grill properly. We're also going to give you tips and tricks. Um, before we go out there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell you the whole process step by step. Um, that's about it. So don't forget if you're not already subscribed, subscribe down below, hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to also hit the little bell icon so you can see all my latest videos. You guys are ready to get this video started. As always, I'm going to be that guy to do it for you. Let's get it. All right. You just got your Blackstone griddle. You want to cook on it right away. You're impatient, but there's one issue. You've got to season it. So when seasoning it, I'm going to tell you right now, it is a timely process. You're going to have to be patient. You're going to have to put the work in because you want that thing right before you actually start cooking anything on it. And you want to season it and you don't want it to rust and all that mess. Step number one, choosing the oil. You want an oil that's rich in fatty acids, so it bonds with your cast iron grill. So you really want it to go ahead, do that good burn off, but choosing your oil, it's completely up to you. Either one of these will work. I'm gonna go ahead, go down the list and wrap it out for you. Um, you've got vegetable oil, flax oil, extra virgin olive oil, even lard. You can go ahead and scrub lard on it if you want. I didn't do that. But since I bought a Blackstone, what I did was I purchased Blackstone griddle seasoning and cast iron conditioner. This is actually gonna work because I think this is uh, gonna be better when you keep doing your cook-offs and stuff like that. Uh, cooking on it all the time. Um, this actually, hopefully it seasons it and does exactly what it says, but I figured, hey, I got a Blackstone griddle, why not spend the extra 14 bucks and purchase you one of these? So. That's what I use, but that's gonna be the step one. Choose your oil, whichever one, have it ready, take it outside, and let's get ready to do this. Step two, you're going to have to use tongs. Make sure you have tongs available, paper towels, or whatever kind of rag. Either, either thing will work. You can even use a brush. I, I use a brush sometimes after I'm done cooking, and it just spreads right on there. But use tongs, use a paper towel, use a cloth, put it in there so you don't burn your little fingers off, and go ahead and wipe it, and when you wipe it, Make sure you do the size, but we're not going to wipe it right now. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to roll step three. Step three, you are going to fire that grill up. You're going to take it to the maximum temperature, and you're going to let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes before it actually maxes out its temperature. When your temperature is maxed out, that's when you are ready to go ahead and spread your oil of your choice. You spread your oil of your choice. Do not forget the outsides, and don't forget the insides. So not just a plate, not just the surface you're actually cooking on. Do the whole thing, season it correctly. When you put your oil on, you're gonna use about two to four tablespoons, depending on you. You're gonna go ahead and spread it, like I said, on the whole thing, but do not let it puddle. Puddled up oil is no good, it's not gonna work. Make sure it's all distributed evenly, and, and your Blackstone griddle is actually on a flat surface. You always want it on flat surface. No, I did not do mine perfect, but I season it every single time. My Blackstone is, gonna, is getting darker brown, not black color, looking good. So after you've done all this, you got your grill still hot, you've already oiled it, you spread it as best as you can. Now you're gonna see a bunch of smoke develop. So when that smoke's developed, it's doing its thing. It's seasoning just like you want wait until the smoke disappears this process is actually going to take about 30 minutes so wait till the smoke disappears give it 30 minutes and then you can shut your griddle off it'll cool down and then you can go ahead and boost it back up the temperature me personally i did not shut my griddle off as soon as it was done uh smoking what i did was i put another coat of uh seasoning on there as you'll see in the video you're gonna do more than one. So that when I say it's a timely process, it's a timely process. But this protects your investment on what you bought. So you don't just do one coat and say, hey, I'm getting ready to cook on it. I did personally six coats. So when I do the six coats, and you'll see me, it'll be a quick video of exactly what I did. Six coats on there. I shut it off. The next day I went out there, that's when I actually cooked on it. Now when I cooked on it, your best bet for your first cook, fatty foods burgers bacon something like that spread that sucker you'll see the grease everywhere that'll help season it. that'll keep that griddle fresh as well so it actually works out but don't skip on the process trust the process enjoy the process love the process you definitely need six coats so i do six after every single cook i'll always uh, spray some uh, oil on there 
I rub it down again. I let it do its burn off. I sit there 30 minutes. It clears. I shut my griddle down. So after every single cook, clean your griddle, spray the oil down, go ahead and give it that nice seasoning coat, let it burn off, and then go ahead and shut it down, put it away, and you're good. The next cook you come out there, you go ahead and you wipe it with a rag, you wipe it with a cloth first just to get the debris off there, then go ahead and you're ready to go because you've already seasoned it, so that's it. No brainer, right? So we're going to go ahead and jump into this video and I'm going to take you outside. Guys, I appreciate you. That's going to wrap up another video. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, subscribe down below to the channel. Smash the thumbs up button just to show this guy some love. Don't forget the bell icon so you can see all my latest videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate you. I'm out. See ya.